Tanya Williams here from the G Wiz Business and Coaching Academy, where we teach coaches, business owners, and managers to run highly lucrative gymnastics businesses and serve thousands of children at the same time. Now, one of the should ask questions or questions you should be asking if you're in this industry or if you're thinking of going into it and you want to grow your business is, how do I teach the more advanced tumbling movements? And the reason why we ask this, or you should be asking this, is because even if you've only got little ones that you're starting out with, like we all started out with, ultimately you're going to be wanting to teach the more advanced skills in recreational tumbling, because if you know how to teach them, you'll know how to teach the little ones as well, and you'll have a vision for them. And if you get to that point where you have children doing these more advanced moves, and by these moves I'm talking about flip flags, back handsprings, front handsprings, front somersaults, back somersaults, round of back handspring, back somersault, these kind of movements, more advanced recreational tumbling movements. If you have children doing that, you just find they stick with it because they love it. They've really learned a skill. Also, the younger mommies, the mommies of the younger children, see what the possibility is for their children to learn within your company and so it serves as a fantastic marketing piece and crucial within your company. So it's important to know how to teach these movements even if you're not teaching them now and I would encourage you to educate yourself on this. Let me give you a few teaching points. Important thing is you need to have a visual and when you teach the movement your children need to visualize or have had a visual of the movement. So they need to have seen the movement before, whether it's another child demonstrating or whether you actually bring them to your video screen and you show them, look, this is the movement, this is the flick flack. Can you see how it starts? Can you see how it ends? Can you understand the movement? Children are very visual, so if you show them the movement first, chances are they'll learn it much quicker. Secondly, break the movement down. I call it chunking it because you chunk it down into bite-sized chunks really to be able to teach it. So if you're talking about the flick flack, you've got your first part of your, your lean back part, you've got your snap into handstand part, you've got your handstand snap down part and all these are three or four or five movements that you've broken down and you can practice them separately long long before the child actually puts it all together and does it for the first time. Important that these two work together, you have to have your associated conditioning. So you need to know what muscle groups are being used or will be used in the movement. So which muscle groups need to be strengthened, which muscle groups need to be stretched, which muscle groups, which core muscles need to be strengthened so that you prevent injury. All those conditioning exercises you need to be able to teach your children, so obviously to teach those movements you have to know them. Important, know how to spot, get some practice, go to a local club where they are learning flick flacks and front somersaults and back somersaults. Ask them if you can join in and learn how to spot because you have to have the hands on um, to do it. Otherwise get a more advanced teacher to work with you. At first you will have two spots for the flick flack or the back sunny. Um, you will spot with a child who can do the movement already until you've got your skill level up and you're feeling more confident to help a child who's never done it before. You have to know your techniques. In order to be able to teach this movement, you have to know the correct technique. Important for safety, important for learning the movement and important for aesthetics. It looks more beautiful when they are learning the right techniques. It sets a better foundation also for future development, building upon those movements. Finally, do yourself a favor, go and watch a couple of top sessions. Go and see what other coaches are doing. Look at how they get the message across. Watch how they spot. How do they organize their flow? How do they make sure that the children are doing the right progressions? All of these things, how do they make the call to know when the child is ready to go alone. All these things take experience, take time, spend time in the gym. There's a lot more to be said on this topic and we cover it in later sessions. So if you want to know more, go to www.gwizbusinessacademy.com. 
forward slash tumbling coaches blueprint and I'll see you on the other side.